You see, when you are walking by faith, usually it is those who are the onlookers who will be seeing the marvelous things that God is doing. You just know you are obeying God. You are in that fire and you are walking that fire out. You are in that den of lions and yet it has no power. Waiting, who will not enter the fire when you see the fourth man already waiting? It is easy to give when you have an alert of 10 million in your account. Then you smuggle out 1,000 and say, God, you see what I gave you. Is that really faith? That is charity. There are over 4,000, now about 4,200 religions in the world that are registered and are approved by various governments. And every one of them, or almost all of them I wrote here, draw their strength and conviction from the fact that they have the knowledge and connection to some deity in the spirit. Are we together? That most religions derive their strength and their confidence from the knowledge and their fraternity with some deity, some force somewhere. So it doesn't matter what the religion is called. Most religions, especially the major religions in the world, when you meet the practitioners of that religion, at the base of the practice of that religion is some kind of proposition that there is a possibility of accessing strength, power, and any kind of advantage from some deity. When you are down, at your lowest point as a nation, as an individual, the voice comes. God doesn't only know what to say. He knows when to say. Be seated, please. Be seated. Sit down. Sit down. Sit down. Sit down. If, while you are waiting, don't sit down wondering. Waiting in unbelief will plant anger in your heart. Are we together? And become a blockade to, do, to the blessings that are on their way to you. Always see what God is doing. This is a message for someone. Like our dear sister, the very touching testimony there. Apostle, I'm still waiting for a child. But thank God you have a, a sensible husband that you can have a child with. Are we together? But when a prophet calls you John and you're John, that John becomes prophecy. It is the prophet that makes it prophecy. It is the prophet that makes it prophecy. So it's important that you look at who is giving you the information. In as much as maybe the prophet is telling you that what you've been hearing from other people. It's not prophecy because you've been hearing that from other people. It becomes prophecy when a prophet tells you exactly what you've been hearing from other people who are not even prophets. It is the prophet who makes prophecy prophecy because you can be called by everyone else john until you meet a prophet and he tells you that you are not jacob you are israel you become a blessing not by taking you become a blessing not just by being wealthy you become a blessing not just by being enlightened you become a blessing by living for a cause beyond yourself